Hi there, my name is Jenna, and um, I'm sharing this video with you because I know that there are some dogs who really have a difficult time with getting a harness over their head or a cone when they have to wear the shame of cone because they've just had surgery or something like that happened, or they happen to be chewing on their paws, and it can be really challenging to get it on. So last night I was working with a new client who has a puppy, and she has been getting more and more um, aggressive about having a harness put on or having anything put on over her head. So we worked on the harness and, and it went brilliantly. I lured her head through multiple times until she was actually coming in on her own, which is awesome. And then we moved to the cone and that technique was just not working. So what I did was I tried something a little different where I put the cone on the floor and I dropped the treats through the cone so they were on the floor and she had to stick her head in to go get them. The first time she tried to move the cone, so what I did was I held it after that and just waited for her to try again. When she did it the first time and she realized that the treats were on the bottom, and technically for her, we just use her, do her dog food, but it could be worth it to use a higher level, level treat if your dog really, really doesn't like it. But if your dog is a chow hound, you can totally use their food. So what we did was we just did that about seven to eight times, maybe eight to 10 times, I'm not positive, but it was repetitions, there were multiple repetitions. It got to the point where she was actually able to stick her head in on her own. I hadn't even put the treats in yet and she stuck her head in, didn't find anything, came out and then I put the treats in and she went right back. So at that point we knew that she was good to go and then we let her do it. She picked up her head with the cone on and then we were able to tie it. So. Here's a video of what it looks like. And you know, it's definitely worth trying if you're, have, if you're struggling with your dog. It's also maybe a great option for some vets to try with the dogs um, who are struggling with having the cone of shame on. Okay, great, I hope you enjoy this and um, have a great day, bye. Good girly. Good girl. Good. She's still sniffing the wood. Good girl. It's not even that bad anymore. Nice. 